And more big news now for Asian film lovers. This year's Golden Horse Awards will soon gallop into action. The fifth edition of the, of the event, which is hailed as the Chinese equivalent of the Oscars, will kick off on November 23rd in Taipei. This time around, two-time Oscar winner Ang Lee is leading the jury panel, and here's what he has to say about the major film event. Lee will be among the jurors selecting winners in 22 categories, ranging from Best Feature Film to Best Action Choreography. Despite being a top prize in the Chinese film scene, Hollywood remains relatively indifferent to the Golden Horse. But according to Lee, that's nothing to worry about. The Chinese speaking people is it's probably four times more than English speaking people. <laughs> so I think uh, as long as we're influential in the Chinese speaking world, I, I think it will prevail, it will ripple out. Um, I think in 10 years of time, maybe uh, our market is bigger than Hollywood market. But when it comes to judging the work of others, Lee is less confident. I think the hardest part is the pressure of making the decision. You make a film because it's something that cannot be described with just words. You need lights and effects. The aim is to create something that resonates with the audience. So for judges to debate and choose the best film, that act itself is unreasonable. Chinese actress Li Bingbing, who continues to make her mark in Hollywood, is also serving as jury member this year. I say this with sincerity, even though I'm not from Taiwan. I've always paid a lot of attention to the Golden Horse Awards. I think out of all the award ceremonies in Asia, the Golden Horse carries the most weight. It never compromises for any reason. It maintains its character and remains neutral. That's why so many people participate. Although the Golden Horse Award is based in Taiwan, it has increasing ties with the film industry in the Chinese mainland, and many analysts believe this year's event will be yet another boost for films on both sides of the strait. Stanley Lee, CCTV.